amazing, truly amazing. In its natural habitat, the human scientist is a gentle and beautiful creature. I never thought I'd live to see it in person. How glorious. Humanized. Truly glorious. Ah, yes. Now, if he can simply weave a robust scientific story, he'll go on our status points that'll ensure his choice of the finest mates. Shh, shh, shh. Math is a human language, just like English, Spanish, or Chinese. Because ah, what a blunder. Surely he'll now be ceremonially devoured by his peers, and searing his folly is removed from the mean pool permanently. Uh, Mickey, I got something to show you. Language isn't exactly new. A great philosopher once said, the laws of nature are written in the language of mathematics. So you see... Ah, oh, damn it, Quinn, this is gonna ruin me. You know how much money I've got writing on the human project? Are you serious, Mickey? What kind of naturalist gambles on a subject? Oh, they're so technologically competent. How could they make such an elementary mistake? Come on, man. Pull yourself together. This can't be that bad. Is it really such a big deal? A big deal? Are you stroking out, Quinn? Hell yeah, it's a big deal. This could undermine the very future of the species. But, uh, I think I can fix this. There's no way these hairless apes are gonna screw me like this. This is worse than phlogiston, worse than the heliocentric universe, worse than the fight between germ theory and terrain theory. It's a pothole riddled road of madness, sickness, and mayhem. This can't be as bad as you're making it, man. Ah, uh, look. They treat math as the language of the universe, which means all their science ends with math. This means everything is all about prediction, since that's what math does best. Eventually, science will become exclusively about fortune telling instead of about understanding how things work and how things happen. Don't you think they're speaking metaphorically here? Come on, get in, I want a short stack. Metaphor? I... Maybe, I, I guess. Seems like some folks are just repeating a trope they've heard. But then there's plenty of people who have apparently derived it for themselves from first principles. These are usually the physicists, statisticians, and mathematicians who have this googly-eyed sense of wonder about the magic of math. Not respect, but wonder. They have no idea what's going on. I mean, physicists, people that study the physical world, are going around telling people that atoms are made of math. The best theories we have tell us that the fundamental building blocks of nature are not particles, but something much more nebulous and abstract. Uh, we call them fields. The, the physicist's definition of a field is the following. It's something that takes a particular value at every point in space, and what's more, that value can change in time. See? They treat math like some kind of source code for everything in existence. Yeah, but... It is really good at predicting things, isn't it? So what? That's a technological parlor trick. What, you're too good for parlor tricks? Well, they're great for engineering, but launching a million spaceships won't get you any closer to understanding nature. This species is so pathetic they can't even figure out how gravity works. They're just happy to be mashing equations into humans are awesome memes. Oh good, they're still serving breakfast. I, I still don't understand what you're so worked up about. They're gonna figure it out, aren't they? By the way, do you want some of this lumberjack special? I got lots of food. These apes are teetering on the edge of a yawning abyss of misplaced faith in mathematics and you're worried about the lumberjack special? What, I have to go hungry just because some apex nerds have a flair for poetry? This isn't about poetry. It's about the subtext of what the poetry means. Think about it. They claim math is the language of the universe. But what's math? A formal language of quantitative commands and logical operations. <sighs> Less literally than that. Math is about what is true. See, humans love certainty. They love knowing the future. 
And this causes them to be constantly preoccupied with the search for truth. So, when they say math is the language of the universe, what they're really saying is that math is truth. It's an unequivocal demonstration of what actually is. Well, there is some truth to that. <sighs> what do we mean by truth? Accuracy? Precision? Something else entirely? Both? It's like, math is just a formal expression of logic that's based on the idea that derivation starts from what is true, by definition. This breakfast costs $14. If I get a side of hash browns and a biscuit with it, then it will cost $27. This is all true. Uh, it's also true that we can't afford that, so don't get too comfortable, huh? Speaking of which... Hey, hon, do you want more coffee? I'm alright, thanks. Okay, you let me know if you need anything. Mm. How the hell are we going to pay for this, Quinn? Don't worry about it. So, what you're talking about is the most basic fundamental expression of mathematical truth. An in-and-out operation that holds under some small number of constrained conditions. What's happened on Earth is that the ability of math to tell the truth has become hopelessly, flawfully intertwined with three things. The human need for certainty, the influence of math on science, and the influence of science on policy. You're saying that when people place too much faith in math, especially in the scientific context, the negative outcomes won't be contained to the academy, but that they'll spread through the society and destabilize everything? <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much exactly it. You get it? I don't know, I'm not convinced, man. It's pretty much possible to find numbers for any scientific or political position, which means that both sides of any issue will be able to present numbers that they purport are true. I, I'm not even sure that people make decisions based on numbers. They just make decisions based on what they believe. Hey folks, my, my shift's almost over and I gotta know, are you, are you gonna be paying cash or cash a card? Uh, well... Do you, do you think that... Just just give us a second. Can we, we'll be, we'll be can right we come back. back later? Come on, Mickey. Let's get out of here. I don't get it. Are you trying to say there's no problem with how humans are misconceiving the physical universe? Obviously not. I think you're right about the fact that math can't replace explanation, and there's lots of important people who spread the rumor that it can't, and does. Black holes, dark matter, quantum fields, these are all shorthand for we have no idea what's happening, but we have modeled it quite carefully. I just don't think these affect the average person. What about the fact that saying math is the language of the universe allows anyone with the ability to mangle numbers to hijack the human need for certainty? Couple that to unquestioning faith in science, and you've basically got institutionalized soothsaying. Also impossible to argue with. People definitely throw around statistics to support their points all the time, usually without really considering how easy it was to make those numbers up in the first place. So how is that not a crisis? Well, I think that maybe at least some people are starting to figure it out. People are realizing that there's a fundamental fracture in how humans make decisions, where it doesn't really matter if math is the fundamental language of the universe or it isn't. People won't base their preferences on numbers. They go with what feels right. Right? You mean correct? No. No, this isn't about logic. This is about morals. They choose based on what their gut says, and that's usually informed by what the people they trust the most happen to believe. Interpersonal relationships and close-knit communities are never going to be overwhelmed with the power of math. That's just not how people work. But what about all that cash I got riding on them? What's the bet actually about? That they'll survive long enough to colonize beyond the Earth? Pretty much, yeah. Yeah, the odds on that are not great right now. Oh, damn it. I wonder if I can still get a hold of my bookie. I wonder if we can get something for lunch. How much you got in there? 